Welcome to the Arcade Saga. My name is Jelkian Wiersma, also known as EJ. So yes, today I'm going to do my blooming update of uh, November 2024. I know when you watch it, it uh, will be the 1st of December, but I thought it's close enough, so uh, there wasn't uh, any time for me to uh, upload this earlier. Uh, so that's why it's on the 1st of December. But like I said, I think it's close enough to, uh, to November to do this uh, blooming update. As you can see, we are starting in my Arcade Grow room and uh, maybe you can see it as well we have a bit more light I did uh, take off the uh, shade net and uh, I should have done this earlier well actually I had some help of my a colleague of mine but anyhow we took it down and it gives so much more light beautiful uh, 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 fall winter type of sunshine as you can see on the flowers which is uh, beautiful absolutely stunning anyhow let's start with uh, with the actual blooms and I'm going to start in this corner this is a no ID odontoglossum type and it has uh, a few more blooms on a separate spike we saw this one uh, earlier as well this spike is now completely done and it decided to uh, bloom again I really like this one, uh, especially the lip and with the white and the yellows, those are my favorite colors and when it starts uh, blooming it's even more yellow and I like it even a little bit better then but it slowly starts to fade but anyhow it's uh, blooming with a beautiful spike and we have another one to come and then we have this Rinconia Violetta van Holm and she's blooming as well but as you can see it's starting to go over now but yet still nice enough to film them so that one is over here the album version is now done flowering over there then this one is still in bloom technically speaking this this bloom is not mine maybe you watched my previous video i will link it in the end of this one but this is from a haul from landsbergen but the bloom is still here and it's still stunning and this is Paphiopelum alona absolutely beautiful and <laughs> we have my Pinocchio alba still in bloom sequential so we do get more and this is almost always in a blooming update and yes next to it look at that two very large flowers and we have number three over there and a bot here on this uh, Puffio Pedalum and I believe it's called Puffio Pedalum White Lady so that's probably this one anyhow the, whoops there goes another tag <laughs> It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful details there on the flowers as well and quite quite uh, huge as you can see. And then way up here very close to the light so it will not be nice to film very well. <laughs> Maybe if I put my hand up. No, it's getting too dark. Sorry. <laughs> this Puffio Pedalum is uh, blooming. I did get a name for it from Inse but I don't remember on top of my head and just checked the tag and didn't change it so that needs to be done but it's a very uh, common one so that one is flowering over here let's uh, go slowly down I don't want to make you dizzy and look now we can see with a bit of sunshine how orange these are this is my orange dancing lady still in bloom uh, I have a name for it because one of you guys, if you were, give me this name and I think it's right. I hope you can see it. I'm sorry for the glare and it gives these beautiful, like I said, dancing lady, but then orange flowers. There we go. And down in the corner, you already saw them probably. My Ludusia Alba is blooming, still blooming. Some are going over, some are fairly new. A lot of leaves there and the other one as well, but no flowers yet. But quite some, uh, quite some big plants as you can see. And then, yeah, it's time to do the Cymbidium. We just saw in the intro a little bit already. This is my older Cymbidium. Uh, three uh, fairly large spikes as you can see. Beautiful yellow blooms. It's a gift from friends. And I have it now for four years and it's doing uh, absolutely wonderful well. Very nice Lord Spike. 
it looks beautiful with the sunshine doesn't it <laughs> no name for it but it's still beautiful so that one is blooming up here most of these are done I have another some this yellow cymbidium was in the previous update as well but it's making a new spike over here so that will be in the next update probably these are also from my haul from my last uh, video so I will not go over them for too long my Peggy root carpenter is here starting to flower and I try to get it in frame <laughs> there it is beautiful beautiful I'm giving this a little bit more light and the flowers are bigger this plant enjoys a little bit more light than it did get previous so it's closer to the window and next to it over here well not next next to it but on the other side this yellow and red Nelly Eiler beautiful flowers beautiful and down a little bit downwards we have my twinkle of one of the twinkles this is called twinkle um, brown just twinkle brown beautiful uh, flowers we have even more there and more there and this spike you now see in the center is from this twinkle over here and in the back we have my yellow one so yeah, I'm working with my twinkles. I see the yellowing on leaves. A problem a lot of growers have, I know. I also have it, but I've tried to uh, do better with them. But um, they are still there, let's put it like that. So they could do a little bit better, I, I think. This yellow nail eiler, it's also from the hall. And yes, if you saw that video, I did cut some flowers off just to save some energy. But I'll leave a few on because they are so beautiful <laughs> look at that stunning and then down here almost forget forgot it but this one is just opening up as you can see look at that I have this one for quite some years so you might recognize it but you see it's blooming again starting to bloom come on the camera yes there we are focus it's such a pretty flower such a pretty flower and this is called it's coming from the Inca Orchids maybe you know that or the tag I hope you can read it still read it and it has a spike over here as we can see and one over there so we will have two of those and then <laughs> this beauty look at that the flowers are now almost open up you see a bottom on the end there this is an Alessiara. Let's grab the name tag Snowblind. Look at the sunshine in the flower. Beautiful. It lightens up. And now it's a bit yellow greenish color there. Stunning. Stunning. And then go back to this side. <laughs> we have this one in flower. Not a very long spike. But we have some flowers this one is now getting a little bit more light as well i think that is the problem this is a no the, i think it's called blossom falls something like that also from the incas nice very nice uh purple there was a very nice purple then over here well this orange one is almost done as you can see it's yellow yet still uh, quite a nice flash of uh, orange over here <laughs> Nelly Isla this is the orange one well it's going over as you can see <laughs> and while we're down here one of well actually the only master valley that does wonderfully well for me as you can see the rest is now well I only have one left so I do not do well with master values. but this one keeps on blooming as you can see all the spikes there Black Velvet, this one is called. Most of you Black Velvet. Let's go over here because all the way up we have this red Onsidium blooming. Very nice dark red flowers. There we go. <laughs> Very beautiful. And then 
down here, maybe you remember it from the last uh, update I did, I had this Meltoniopsis in bloom and I was going uh, <laughs> on a strike almost. I had more than a year, more, uh, I think one year and seven months, at least one Meltoniopsis blooming. Well, sadly that one did stop blooming and this one had the spikes for it, but it didn't open up soon enough. So I had a few days, I think six or seven days, not a Miltoniopsis in bloom. So there goes my record. <laughs> but now it's starting to bloom again, as you can see. Look at that. It's just opening up. But yeah, if you remember that video, I did talk about it. <laughs> it uh, I didn't uh, continue the record. Anyhow, doesn't matter at all. <laughs> beautiful blooms, absolutely beautiful. And uh, let me quickly check. Yeah, that is it. The rest, we have quite some uh, some spikes coming up, but that will uh, another one over there. That will be in another video. So for now, we are done in the orchid room. Let's go into the greenhouse. Ta-da! <laughs> Maybe you saw a short on my vendas, but they are still blooming. And look at the colors. I'm sorry for the beeping noise. There's a beautiful venda. But look, I love the view of this. So beautiful. Let's do a bit up close. This is one of the keikis blooming. This is, yeah, I don't have the original name. It's more of a commercial name, I believe. Something mocha. Or something, <laughs> but yeah, this is my largest venda. Any mother plant is here, and it's starting with two spikes over there. And the rest, I didn't separate them. All of these are cakey, I believe, a seven about seven cakeys. She started with ten, but I lost three of them, they were stuck. So, and I didn't realize it in time, but yet, still, we have a lot of cakeys going on there. These are not my bloom, so to speak. This is the Bloom Magic. I will do an unboxing video. It will be on my channel. I already filmed it, but didn't have time. I did have a little too much of unboxing. But this is why I bought it. This bluish purple color. I had it in my collection, but I lost it. And then I found it on sale again. And next to the Blue Magic, we have the Pink Magic. Well, they look a bit of similar, of course the course is, the colors is a bit different, but the pattern is a bit similar. Maybe that's why they called it Pink Magic, but I uh, really love this one as well. And together they make such a beautiful show. And then down here we have this Ren Venda, Ren Venda Dio Mane. <laughs> that is this one. You can see now the spike is uh, arching over and goes near the floor now because it's so heavy. So I did sort of stake it a little bit with a wire, a bonsai wire, just to give it a little bit of extra support because she's still not done opening all up all her flowers, the buds. But yeah, it's beautiful, very beautiful. And then here, this is a flower spike on a keiki. This is a, obviously a keiki, and I have another keiki there. That is not spiking, but this one does, obviously. And then we have the mother plant with these beautiful yellow colors, but you can see it gives, gives such a beautiful show. And this spike is just op opening up. And here are some flowers up close, look at that. They are more yellow than, than green. It looks now on my camera, it's a more greenish color. There is a hint of green, but it's more a powerful yellow. But that's, it's probably because of the lighting. But yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Little smiley faces in there, I love them. So yeah, this looks so beautiful. All the colors together. Absolutely stunning. And up here, well, I'm, I'm in time, not of, sort of, in time <laughs> for this uh, flat, uh, Fred Clark After Dark. Not a huge spike, but I did a uh, video on these guys as well. I did spray them. It's called How I Poisoned My Orchids, and the scatocidin types were in there. Yeah, and I drained quite a lot of energy by mistreating them. 
But yet still we have a few flowers, but you can see most of them are falling off already. I have in the back more spikes on this one, and this one is also spiking, so we will have a few more flowers in the near future. Yes, then we have this big yellow Cadlea. <laughs> It's almost upside down. It was so heavy that it almost did break that spike here. So I had to stake it as well. Yeah. And it shouldn't be happening. I, I think that even the hybrids, they need to be able to support their own flowers. I'm not completely sure. I know it's huge, but then again, if this keeps doing it, it's a bit of a, a failure in my opinion with the crosses. Not completely sure if it does this all the time. This is the first time for me to rebloom it. And if I remember correctly, the blooms it came with were slightly uh, smaller than this one. But yet, yeah. But anyhow, it's still here. So I think it's working. <laughs> and then over here, there are some buds to come, as you can see over there and there near the light. But this one is still, still in bloom, not for that long anymore, I believe, but look at that. Also beautiful Cattleya. And uh, I lost, I have the name tag somewhere. Cannot find it now very easily, but if you want to know the name, please let me know and I'm happy to give it to you. Then we have this Why Not Cross. <laughs> beautiful. Um, Where's the tag? Oops, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Try to grab the tag. Maybe it's easier to do it this way. No, it's not. <laughs> For if you like, I have the parents, the cross of the parents. This camera doesn't want to focus on it. If you can read it and you will want to know, please let me know. I will give you the name. It's very hard because of the the LED light in the background is making it hard. Well, maybe if I try it like this. Yeah, there we are. There we are. I think that was readable. Anyhow, beautiful uh, flowers. Look very similar to the Why Not. Very similar. Uh, let me quickly check. Yes, we have some flowers over here. My Binosa is blooming. Still blooming, I should say, still blooming. It, it loses its color, so it's almost done blooming. And then we have something else with bud there, so we will have some more flowers in this corner. There's no ID Cadlea. Those flowers are going over, but we have some prettier ones over here. I did make a short on this one as well, because it's so beautiful. <laughs> and down here I have my Chantilly Lace in flower. Two blooms. Very beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful details. Come on, camera, there we are. And my final blue is done. <laughs> done blooming. And then here I have this big Brachio, Brachia Ace Tech, I believe. Still some good flowers on there. Not much, you can see an old leaf, but also some old flowers on the floor. But yet, and then I put it here because I had my physes here. But those are not blooming yet, but those are making quite huge spikes. Let's uh, head over to that section. There they are. This is a fias. And I have the other one here. But you can see they are working on the spikes. I'm sorry, I didn't want to make you dizzy spikes here. Those are so large that I needed to find a bit more room for them. That's why I changed the location of the a stack just temporarily. Um, yeah, down here, I did also a short on it, my hibiki. I now see some flowers going over. But I like I mentioned in it short, if you want an orchid that is blooming for quite an amount of time, and you like dendrobiums, you should choose the hibiki. It blooms for months and months. With these very bright colored flowers. Absolutely beautiful. And my um, berry oda is in spike. So I will have some flowers on that one. In my next update, 
and then we have this is my purple happiness then dromium friendly ops is purple happiness we have still some flowers on there you can see some are going over but some are still there uh, still there <laughs> In the background, we have my Thailand Black. Let's, let's see if I can zoom in. I'm sorry for the shakiness, but it's hard filming. There we go. Let's see. Yes, look at that. Very nice dark flowers. Very, very nice. And next to it is my blue happiness. No. That's, that's not my blue happiness. I remembered. The, uh, do I have the name for it? I'm sorry, you guys, for my uh, noises, <laughs> because I was searching for the name. And this is the name. There is this Dendromium burana blue. That is the one we're now looking at. Absolutely beautiful. And there is indeed a hint of blue there. Next to it, we have this no ID. The Robium Fenoliopsis, so those all together make also a beautiful display over there. And not far, we have away from those, we have even more. This is, I think, believe they call this the pink splash. I'm sorry, whoops, I'm sorry. Look at that. And right next to it is my snow blind. Very, very nice colors together. And then we have the purple happiness, and that one is over here. There we go. I'm zooming out, there we go. So I can give you a bit of a look of all those flowers together. Very beautiful. Quite close to it is polar fire. Dendrobium fenoliopsis polar fire. Look at that, also very nice. Very nice, and quite close to it is my... <laughs> Focus on the blooms, please. This is my yellow bird. My camera is trying. Not sure what I'm... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yellow bird. Yellow bird. Let's go down. Because we have more than Drobium, Thaliopsis in bloom. Um, no, I don't have a name for this one. And in the background we have the white one, a white variety. It is about to go over now. As you probably can see flowers turning to, turning to brown up a little bit. Mm, and then we have a few flowers on this one. These are the older flowers. They start to fade a little bit. And it was a bit colder. And this one really hates the cold. <laughs> But I managed to open up this bud again. You can see it's the same same uh, plant, but this is how it opened up. And it's called something dragon, dendrobium, green dragon, I believe. Yeah, that is this one. And then another beauty, this yellow and white variety is still in bloom. This is my dendrobium puff 58. So yeah, don't ask about the name but luckily this one had a tag and there is a little bit of fragrance in this one so that is over here speaking of fragrance this is what i smell <laughs> oh i'm sorry I'm skipping over quite some flowers this is my sherry baby look at these and um, yeah you can imagine if you're familiar with the sherry baby what I'm smelling right now. It's chocolate, vanilla, a mixture of the both, if you ask me. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And I really do enjoy these flowers. Most people say they don't buy them for the flowers. I kind of kind of understand why, but yet still, I, I really enjoy the colors. But yeah, this is one to have, uh, especially for the fragrance, it's very strong fragrance, this one gives. And then here, maybe you saw it in one of my shorts, recently <laughs> look at these flowers this is dendrobium fenoliopsis coconut dream and amongst the dendrobium fenoliopsis this one has the largest flowers 
almost a clean white flower on this one. Look at that. And we have a little spike over here. With some blooms. Very, very nice, very pretty. Ooh, and I almost forgot this one here in the back. Let me zoom in. This is Dendrobium Takanaga. Um, there we go, it's beautiful and shot. Uh, um, not Nora. Oh, I don't remember her name. It's the partner of Roy Takanaga. I apologize. It doesn't want to come out. And it's hard uh, to read the tag. But if you really want to know, let me know. But the flowers are so pretty. Absolutely pretty. And maybe it's Nora. I'm not completely sure. But uh, as you can imagine, this uh, very big white one is uh, in front of me. So uh, I cannot reach the tag over there. I apologize. But again, I'm, I'm always happy to give names if I have them. Those were my uh, dendrobium so far. Let's have a look at some brushy types, which are still also in bloom. As this one, this is upside down. Um, the other day, maybe I can show this one a bit easier. This is a spidery type. Yeah, there we go. This is better. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> it's a bit fighting. Light right there. This is even better. Yes with the lights and this is on the top of the shelf. But I saw this and I think it's very similar, but it was called on uh, Secret Garden, I believe. They have them for sale called Br Bratonia Shalop. And I think it's this one. And then next to it, we have this green yellowish one. Let me see if I can bend the spike a little bit. Yeah, there we go. It's also in my shorts update. Green parrot, Bratonia green parrot, with two spikes, still beautifully in bloom. They open up indeed a bit green, and then they start to get this darker yellowish color. And next to that one, we have some flowers there, <laughs> but also a spike here with quite some huge flowers. This is my Bratonia Shalop Tolkien. So also a shell up and this is called talking. Beautiful. I yeah, I love the shape of these guys and the colors. Stunning. Stunning. And down here I have a spike on my Verona. This is the whoops, Brasia Verona. There goes my camera, yes. <laughs> making a sharp, beautiful, beautiful details on this one and colors. There we go, there we go, let's, oh, I'm sorry. Didn't try to do it as quick because I understand it's sometimes a little bit annoying, <laughs> making guys dizzy. Over here, we have s some flowers on my uh, Sologeny uh, Linda Buckley. There we are. Very nice white and yellow. Absolutely stunning. And I can only hope you don't hear the background music coming from out the house. <laughs> Very close to the computer. Um, no ID. Yeah, I'm not completely sure. I thought it might be a Bratonia type. But uh, more of you guys, viewers, thought it was might also be a uh, Alessiara type. And I think these um, flowers will get bigger once the plant is uh, more established and a little bit bigger itself with more energy. I'm not completely sure, I don't remember correctly, but this is a little piece coming from a plant of a, uh, out of the pot. And actually it wasn't a keiki, but it was a separate plant. From a, from a friend of mine, so yeah, very young plant when I did get it. Um, well, this uh, speaks almost for its own. <laughs> it's done blooming. It's more of a watercolor now, <laughs> watercolor painting. But in the background, this 
funny little metonia. I'm sorry, I tr did try to get a leaf out of the way, but did uh, spoil us with uh, two, uh, well, one flower now and another bud. Very short spike, but yet still a beautiful flower. And then over here we have my Peter Kamp. Miltodidium, or Miltodidium, something is it called now. I have it as a Miltonia, but it's Peter Kamp. If you will look for Miltonia Peter Kamp, you will find it as well. Not the easiest one amongst the Miltonia types to grow. It's a bit picky on how you treat it. Uh, it will dump the roots very quickly. And this has the strangest, almost burn, burn wood burning type of fragrance sometimes. So yeah, I did get, uh, I needed to get uh, used to the fragrance because in the beginning, I told it earlier in other video, but when I start, uh, when I entered my greenhouse and this one was blooming, it was always the first thing that popped in mind when I did get the smell is something is burning, something is burning. And then it turned out it's just this flower. So yeah, be aware. If you have a Peter Camp or you buy it, maybe you recognize the same type of scent. I'm not completely sure, but I, I found it to be a bit burny. Some, some wood burning fragrance in the background. This is um, my Miltonia. Mil Miltonia Sunset, to be uh, complete. Still some flowers on there, but they are losing a little bit of color, I can see. So they are almost done, but yet still. Very nice, as, if you ask me. Very nice. And must have for me. <laughs> stunning, these colors. Absolutely stunning. Mm, let me quickly check if I missed. Yes, I missed something. Inse, if you're watching this video, I have one of your gifts. Not only the Vanda, but this one. It's Maxillaria. Look, a little teeny tiny flower. I believe it's not really the, uh, not really the season, uh, the moment for this one to bloom, but it popped. It did make a bloom. Very, very nice. Uh, it's Maxillaria variabilis yellow. Yeah, I, I really love this plant. And look, it's doing well. It's growing, uh, becoming a quite nice size. Let's put it back there. Beautiful little teeny tiny a yellow flower. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. Um, let's have a turn around and this is me checking. Obviously we have some fells in bloom. Ah, and I'm getting stuck right now. There we go. I'm sorry. So we have a few fells starting to bloom. I recently did my Arcot uh, Fenleopsis uh, spike hunting video. So we will have definitely have more, definitely have more. If you're interested in this video, didn't see it already, I will link that as well. Look at this one. Celebensis, Fenleopsis celebensis. Also a gift from Inza. <laughs> And next to it we have Be Bellina putting out a beautiful flower for us to enjoy. Then I, a Leodoro. So that's the fragrance I'm picking up right now. <laughs> beautiful. This yellow one is also fragrant actually. It's a citric type of fragrance. There's an old flower. Very, very nice. These two, one was a gift, also from Inse. <laughs> so Inse, a lot of plants of you are flowering apparently. This I did bought, so technically speaking, not my flower. But above here, just notice, this one is opening up a new flower. It's a beautiful cross with the Phenolopsis dragon something, but I cannot read the tag very well, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, taking that back. I have the tag here on the outside. So, mm, is my camera focused? I think there it is. I'm sorry, I cannot see it. I hope it's in focus. If not, and you want to know the name, please let me know. I think it's the crosses of the both parents are on there. Look at these flowers. Or this flower, I should say, I'm sorry. 
I like that lip, the contrast, a bit that orangey yellow of the flower, and then you have that bright uh, purple uh, lip there. Nice, very nice. Let's move not too quickly downwards. Ah, you see, I always forget something. Let's move over here, over here. This was also in a update, a, sh uh, a short, I mean. It's a Kerlea, and I cannot find a name for it. It's one of my oldest, so it's been through an, a lot, as you can see. But she's still here, and she's in back in bloom, so there is some progress. I did search on this flower. I took a picture and did, did do a search, a Google search. I did see two, I think, that are actually this flower, two websites showing this flower, but no name in the description. <laughs> but yeah. It's a mini Cattleya, beautiful. Has a beautiful, nice fragrance to it as well. A bit, bit of sweet and pepper uh, combined, if that, if that does make sense. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice one. I'm so happy she's, uh, she's back. Let's put it like that. And then we have this Delumnia. This is also from a haul, still in flower. I don't know what it is today, but my camera. Yeah, there we go. Something cider. But one of my own spikes will be on this one. I'm grabbing her now and putting it. It's not a big spike. Only two flowers, but nonetheless, it takes a minute today to get my camera to focus on the things that I would like to focus it on. Yeah, yeah, yes, flowers. It's not having its day today, my camera. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, I'm trying not to shake it too much, which I do, I know. Yeah, beautiful pattern, and I love the different colors on there. Yes, I have a name for it. It's the Iraq uh, Mocha Spots. That is this one. Let's put it back on the panel here. Maybe I can film it then a little bit easier. Yes, it's thing and this one is... The pot next to it was uh, turning around on an angle. Yeah, I think it's in frame, but it's very hard for me to see. Ah, uh, yeah, you see, this is better. Still shaking, that's coming from the roof. If it's a little bit windy, this will be the first that starts to shake a little bit. And that's okay. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful flowers. Let's take the camera down. One more look around. Like I said, I always forget a few, but I think <laughs> I can say that I did cover them now. Yeah, I believe so, I believe so. <laughs> so yes, you guys, always looking forward i am always looking forward to making this video because it's so nice to have a look at the flowers because yeah in the end of the day isn't that the reason why we are growing our orchids because of the flowers and and some of course because of the fragrance yes absolutely but for me first comes the flowers and uh, i see the, f the fragrance as a bonus but yeah i uh yeah, I, I will go for the flowers. So uh, thank you, and I wanted to mention one more time, if you saw something and you would like to know the name, please uh, let me know. I'm happy to share it if I have the name. And for now, thank you so much for watching. And of course, as usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below this video. I will get to your comments as soon as possible. Speaking of which, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, especially, well, not especially the new ones, all of you guys, not only the new ones. I'm sorry, I keep saying that, and that's not fair. I, I, I appreciate all your subscribers, so thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, all so much. And I uh, really, really hope to see you at one of my videos. Bye-bye. Next videos, that was. Bye-bye. <laughs>